Hola, wet shavers. What are we doing tonight? We are shaving with Gran Oil from Murphy and McNeil. And this is an awesome soap. Guess what? My 10th video since my return. And pre Thanksgiving shave. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Hola, wet shavers. Calito Shaves is back. As I said in the intro, this is video number 10 since my return. And I chose for this evening shave a very awesome and special soap, Gran Oil, from Murphy and McNeil. This is in the Kodiak base. Let me show you the labeling real quick. This label was made with a collaboration with Razor Ray Designs in Florida. Korea Bay, this is a base, I mean, this is a semi soft base. And compress it like that. Very good. Very good. Very nice scent. Medium to strong scent. It's very good. I'll be following with the splash. Nice labeling. Look at this. And did I say the bottle of this set is one of the nicest and most elegant one in wet shaving? So great. Star also of the show is my new acquisition, which is a Chic Adjustable Birth Year Razor M4. It's so, so, so nice. Actually, it's going to be my first shave with it. And uh, looking forward to it. Brand new, fresh, Chic Injector Blade. Lancaster Razor Works Lathering Bowl Awesomeness. As you can see, I'm going to be doing bowl lathering and I already pressed the soap to the bottom. West Coast Shaving, two band Badger 26 millimeter brush that I already had soaking in my utilitarian um, brush soaker dash recycled candle. So, so, so great. And uh, I'm going to be rocking and rolling. So let me prep with the ice cube. I don't know if you notice, I have a stash. This is going to be my fifth No Shave Movember shave. Um, I've been doing some touch-ups here and there. but uh, And of course, I haven't also gone to the barber. No shave and no haircut November. Man, it's getting wild. So let me prep and I'll be right back, okay? Don't go away. Okay, here we are with shaving amigos and amigas. Already whipped up the lather in the Lancaster shaving bowl. Uh, of course, this is a boar brush. Boar brush. Badger brush, I mean. And it's very uh, typical of these type of brushes to... Um, absorb a lot of lather in this particular case this west coast shaving 26 millimeter knot <clears throat> and the flow through is not that great but i don't know i haven't given that much love to this brush so i took it out for a spin already as you can see this this side of the face already applied the cube the mentholated one as i've been telling you i've been enjoying mentholated shaves what lately and uh yeah it's part of my uh, routine and uh rituals i hope everybody's doing okay doing fine having great shaves preparing for thanksgiving for those who practice this festivity here in Puerto Rico, we practice Thanksgiving also. And it's crazy out there. A lot of people doing last minute grocery shopping and all that stuff. It's just getting crazy. 
Oh man, lather for weeks, which I like. I'm only gonna be shaving, I think on camera, this is gonna be my last shave that you will see my mustache and my goatee. I'm just gonna go around here and clean up in the neck area and call it a day, okay? Scent strength for this soap. In the pockets medium, once you lather, it, it just explodes in the bowl and it's a medium to strong. Um, out of five, it's a, it's a four out of five. And just, just close of being five out of five. So yeah, chic, adjustable, I mean, show it to you bought it on ebay very nice price got it from what it's not in mint condition for, for the price i paid i think i paid like 30 bucks shipped and stuffing in here so it goes from one to nine and what it is, is that this base plate just goes down and up, providing a lot of exposure. So this is all the way into nine, I believe, seven, eight, nine, no, nine. Goes all the way from one to nine. So for the purposes of training, I'm gonna go from one and I'm gonna go to four. Let me give it like four and a half or in the middle I'm gonna do the first pass and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about the soap oh yeah very smooth I think four and a half is a sweet spot for this razor I've seen videos where people get cocky and go crank it all the way to nine and uh, get razor burn. Gran Wild. Soap is uh, dedicated to the pirate. Uh, I believe he's an Irish pirate, Grace O'Malley. Very nice set to have for Pirate Week. And uh, as I said, it's a very nice scent right up my alley. Definitely I was gonna shave with Murphy and McNeil as part of my rotation and I'm, this was not the soap of choice, but the way I placed this soap, I felt like Grace O'Malley was watching me. So I decided to go and uh, take it for a spin. Nice, efficient racer. First impressions, impressions. So let me talk a little bit about the soap. As I said before, it's in the Kodiak base, which is bare tallow. I'm gonna put the ingredients either here or here. And let me go a little bit about the description, which I'm gonna be putting the description down below of the soap from Murphy and McNeil from the website. Real quick, because I don't want this to um, you know, drag along. Description, when Grace O'Malley was young, she begged her father to join to join him in the, his seafaring expeditions. He declined, explaining that her long red hair would get caught in the ropes. The next time she saw he saw her, her hair was gone and she was on their way to becoming one of the most fierce women in Irish history. Bold Grace or Grand Wild, Grand Yawel, if that's the way you pronounce it, was how she would become known throughout history. For decades she was the pirate queen of Ireland, plundering the seas fighting the English, and even meeting Elizabeth I in her bare feet. And there's us an Irish chieftain. The granule, like I said before, is dedicated to this legend, featuring nozzle gunpowder, white leather, aged oak, and ocean aquatics. 
are meant to bring you back to a different time of gritty battles on the high seas. What can I tell you? And what do I get? Th those are the notes that um, that Murphy and McNeil describes in the soap. For me, I smell, definitely there's some aquatic scents, but in the top notes, I smell like powder. Not not real sure it's gunpowder, but it's powder. Powder, but but kind of going into a faint dark side, like powder, freshy powder, and then getting the woods, and I guess it's the oak, but it's woody, toned down, and then it settles in a in a sea salty kind of way. I don't know how to explain. It smells like a little bit of the ocean. It's like putting together some leather, soaking seawater, and then smell it up close. That's what I get. What's what I get? And it's and it's fantastic to my nose. It's fantastic. Let me wash my pails on my face real quick and do a second pass. Very nice, very nice. I've been seeing through social media and through video that this Black Friday is gonna be nuts. A lot of artisans, retailers such as Murphy and McNeil, the Razor Company, the Wet Shaving Store, man, First Line Shaves. Oh, man, you name it. They're gonna be having some sales. Pasteur's Pharmacy in New York. Go check them out. Huge discounts and a lot of offerings on soaps, hardware, razors, Ellsworth razors. I'm gonna be ha it's having right now um, a sale with the Dracan razor. And uh, yeah. Yes. It's just great. So I'm going to do a second pass and I'm going to do it against the grain. I have a couple of bumps here that I think I got them by shaving sideways. Usually, um, I'm going to be leaving it at four and a half of exposure. My first time, like I said before, I'll be doing some experimenting off camera. And probably revisit other settings when no one's watching, just my mirror and myself. Thank you very much for your comments on my last video and a uh, couple of new subscribers. Thanks a lot. Also, I uh, watch a couple of releases and videos like Cape Cod and Lost Fort. There was a collaboration between Mao and Talbot. Shave soaps. Man, very efficient. If you get a if you get a chance and, and and you like injector racers, go check them out on on eBay. And grab yourself one. Ever since I started wet shaving and I saw a couple of YouTubers using the shake injector, I I grew curious and uh, had to get one. Then a couple of wet shaving bodies like DK. A DK Dan Franchise, which I'm gonna put, be putting his channel in the description. One of his favorite racers is the Golden 500. Got a hold of one and uh, never looked back. One of my top, top racers. There you go, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Gonna get ready and go to an activity.
late night activity. One of my daughters. I'll be traveling and uh, just getting ready to rock and roll. So let me go with the splash. Every time I do this, I try to get it, do something quick. This is the alcohol splash. Oh man, the splash is ten times better than the soap. <laughs> just like I do. Yeah, this is. This is powdery. Probably that's the gunpowder that is in the description. This is powdery, woody, and yeah, it's like seawater and, and leather. It's like smelling a baseball glove that is soaked in seawater. That's the description that I have. I'm ready to rock and roll guys and gals so thank you very much for joining me in this quick pre Thanksgiving day shave hope you have a great day with your family and friends and uh, keep having those great shaves okay and um, thank you for the subs again thank you very much for commenting and uh, I'm, I'm watching videos in the background also and providing feedback to uh, some of great content creators here in YouTube in this space. And I appreciate also your, your taking the time and, uh, and watching my stuff. So I gotta go. Until next time, muchachos and muchachas, Carlito Shaves is out of the house.